today's lesson we are going to take a look at using each and every in a sentence a lot of people get confused because they are similar to each other but cannot be used interchangeably every time okay so first we are going to take a look at how to use each in a sentence now what does each mean each is obviously singular okay it means one So if I'm going to tell you, study each sentence carefully, I mean study individual sentences. So each sentence over here, I mean one by one, individual sentence. So that means you are going to take up one sentence and study it carefully and then move on to the next one. So each year means individual or one by one. Okay, so study each sentence carefully. Now my next example, each player played well. Now each player means I'm talking about um, an individual's performance. Okay. So how do they perform? So individually, each player played well. So I mean one individual, okay? Now, in my next sentence I have, each of the children received a gift. Now when I say each of, okay, I have each of, remember, you always follow it by a plural noun so children is plural right it's more than one so you have each of plus a plural noun or a pronoun so i say each of the children now imagine there are so many children here okay so so many of them i'm telling you each so i am talking about them as individuals so each of them okay each of the children singular so each of the children received a gift so so many children and well each of them received a gift all right well this cannot be in the case of every you cannot say every of the children you always say each of but do remember after you use each of do put the noun or the pronoun in plural okay now he met each of the team members personally again if you see each of okay here you have members it's a plural noun okay so you can't say he met each of the team member that is absolutely incorrect okay because there's so many team members so you're seeing each of them personally all right so out of many each of them so one by one he met each of them personally so do remember this you can use each of followed by a plural noun or a pronoun i can also say he met each of them personally okay now in my next example there are two boys each is smiling now you use each to talk about two things or two people But that restricts you only to two, okay? Not to three and more than three. So two things or two people. So there are two boys, each is smiling. So what I mean to tell you is each of them is smiling. So each is singular, like I said. So definitely the verb that follows is a singular because we are using a singular word here. So each is smiling. Now a lot of people would make the, make the mistake and say each are smiling. Well, that is not the case. Though we are talking about two boys, okay, but each is smiling. 
okay you can say each of them is smiling so remember we use two to talk uh, we use each to talk about two things or maximum two people but two well in the next example in a football match each team has 11 players now you know why we use each year because a football match always has two teams participating right so we cannot use every I have heard a lot of people say in a football match every team has 11 players no this is absolutely incorrect okay because each is always used for two things two people or anything that we talk to okay so in a football match each team again we have a singular verb because you're talking about each team okay individual team has 11 players and that is why we use a singular verb okay friends well i hope you have understood the basic uses of each fine now we're going to take a look at how to use every in a sentence so now how do we use every every is used for larger numbers and uh, talking about a unit as a whole okay i have read every book in the library now why do i say every i can't even begin to count the number of books a library has okay there are more than two books maybe a thousand books okay i have read every book well i have read each book in the library okay but it is always better to use every because we are talking about larger numbers or indefinite amount okay so i have read every book in the library now in the next sentence every house in the town is painted white now if you go to count the number of houses it is huge okay there are a lot of houses in every town fine so better than each house in the town it is always better to use every because we are relating to a larger number of houses okay more than two for sure and well the amount or the number is indefinite we really do not have a definite number so every house in the town is painted white okay now she plays tennis every Sunday if you go to C, here I am defining the frequency or telling you how often something happens. So when you say that or when you talk about a frequency or when you want to say how often something happens, you use every. Now a lot of people would use each Sunday. Well, this is not correct because we are talking about the frequency of an action. So use every. okay so when you talk about frequency friends remember to use every like in my next sentence I wash my car every month now here I'm telling you how often I wash my car every month I am stating a frequency so please use every okay now the next example he carried a bag in every hand. Well, does the sentence sound correct? Now think about it. You have two hands, okay? So when I want to say I carried a bag in both of my hands, I would use each over here. Because if you remember when we were learning each, I said that when you talk about two things or two people, always use each. So this is how you cannot use every. Okay, because every talks about three or more than three. So the correct one would be, he carried a bag in each hand. Definitely, he has two hands. So in each hand, he carried a bag. Fine. The manager wants to speak to every employee in his office. Now, why is it that I have used every year and not each? Okay, that's because there are more than two employees in the organization. 
So the better thing to say is every. Okay, remember we deal with larger numbers, three or more than three, so use every. So the manager wants to speak to every employee in his office. Fine, so every because more than two employees. Well friends, this is how we use each and every in a sentence. And this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Well, as usual, I have a small test for you. Do take it. Let me know your scores. I'll be back soon. Till then, take care and bye.